Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Yash. I am creating cool 3D stuff and helping you guys level up your Blender skills. Today we are going to talk about every 3D artist go through. The four level of competence. These stages help explain you how you can grow as an artist and how you may feel at different point of your uh, Blender journey. Whether you are just starting out or you have been creating 3D stuff for years, knowing these stages can make a huge difference in how you approach learning and improving. So let's dive into it. First up, the blissful beginner. Uh, you have just downloaded Blender and everything is shiny and new. You don't really know what you are doing yet, but that's actually a good thing. Why? Because you are in a land of opportunity. Everything is exciting and mysterious. You are extruding cubes into random shapes, messing with the camera and maybe even doing your first render. Maybe it looks like absolute garbage. But hey, that's the part of the fun. You don't know what you don't know and that's perfectly fine. At this stage, it's all about curiosity and you are discovering the what of Blender. And it's okay if you're not creating masterpieces yet. You might even not know what half of the buttons do. But hey, don't worry, it'll come to you. The goal here is to just explore and get comfortable with the software, play around, watch beginner tutorials and just do. Eventually, you will start recognizing stuff in Blender like interface, basic modeling and uh, simple renders. Next, we hit the struggling adventurous stage. This is where the real work starts. You have been using Blender for a bit and now you're like, alright, I want to make something cool. So you start a project and guess what? Everything goes wrong. Your topology is a mess. Your textures are pixelated, your rigging is completely off and you have no idea why the lighting is looking like a horror show. But here's the thing, you know what's out there. You know there are tools to make your art look amazing and you also realize that there's so much to learn. I know, I have been through it but the struggling adventurer phase is a bit frustrating because you can see the possibilities but the mountain you have to climb is huge. I mean, I have been there. When I first tried to rig a character, it looked like a noodle puppet, but it's okay. Uh, but the key here is to learning how to troubleshoot and persist. Don't be afraid of the like, Google search, uh, finding some tutorials and even asking the Blender community for help. You will start learning those, you know, um, little tricks which will make a big difference. So once you get through the struggles, you enter the focused creator stage. Now you are starting to get the hang of things. You have got a decent workflow in place uh, and you can make something which looks good even with very little efforts. At this stage, you are working smarter. Uh, you have learned the basics of modeling, uh, texturing, rigging, lighting and even rendering. You can look at the 3D model and uh, actually think through like how to fix a problem. You might need tutorials here and there but you are getting confident with each and every project. Maybe uh, you are not creating pixel level animations just yet, but you are improving. You are finding your own style and that's a huge win. Whether it's just modeling a simple chair or a character animation, you are actually seeing a light at the end of the tunnel. The trick now is how to just move forward and push yourself even more. Take on bigger challenges and try new techniques and don't be afraid of mess ups uh, because the more you create, the more you get better. And finally, the Blender Mastermind. You are here, you have leveled up and now you are creating amazing art without even breaking a sweat. Your workflow is smooth, you have figured it all out and you are just solving problems intuitively. At this stage, you are not just using Blender, but you are creating with it. You can tackle any project, whether it is a complex animation, a photorealistic render, or an NPR render, or a crazy VFX shot. Uh, you might be even teaching others or even sharing your knowledge with Blender community. Here's the cool part, you are always learning. Even at the mastermind stage, there is still more to discover. New features come out, new techniques pop up, so there's always something fresh to explore. With. The goal is now to keep creating, keep experimenting and maybe inspire others with your work. You have reached a point where Blender feels like an extension of yourself. So where are you on this journey? Are you a blissful beginner, a struggling adventurer, focused creator or uh, have you hit the mastermind stage? Uh, let me know in the comments and if you are feeling stuck, 
trust me you'll get through it it's part of the process uh, thanks for watching today's video uh, i know it was something different from my regular ones i'm trying different things at this point like if you found this one helpful hit that like button uh, subscribe for more blender tips and don't forget to hit that notification bell keep creating and i'll see you in the next one bye